To Pike's surprise, the Kalar leader is revealed to be his former yeoman, Zach Nguyen, alive and now ruling as High Lord Zacharias. Nguyen accuses Pike of abandoning him and explains that the planet's radiation causes symptoms leading to Kalar transformation. He refuses to leave and plans to watch Pike suffer. Do you watch Rick and Morty? I do. Fruity Fruity Land? <laughs> I didn't put it together, but now that you mention it. Did you not think of Fruity Fruity Land when you saw this episode? Now that you mention it, I am now. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, what did they do? (laughs) The team is imprisoned, experiencing varying degrees of memory loss and disorientation due to the planet's effects. Laon is unconscious and disoriented when she wakes, not even recognizing her own name. Pike struggles to recall why they are there he, as he, too, begins experiencing symptoms. So, there are two people on this away team that would be super dangerous should they lose their faculties. Mbinga and Laon. Now, we don't know about how dangerous Mbinga is yet, but we've had a hint. We, we've had enough of a hint to know we don't want to find out. Yeah, and Laon... Well, you can tell me that she's not genetically engineered, but she has superior mangled up genetics in her background. And we know she's a super badass because she went toe to toe with Una during that one. Right. Um, again, I got to go back to you on I realize they have a story to tell. Yeah. Uh, but there's a lot of errors in judgment that I didn't even really consider when first looking at this episode that after you brought that up about sending that ship to do it. Yeah. I'm like, there's a lot here. No wonder I don't like this episode because there's a lot that doesn't stand up to even the most initial scrutiny. 